645, there is an old fashioned grassroots way of creating interest in baseball through minor leagues in smaller cities where the fans really get to feel the game. Joe Fonzi introduces us to one right here in the East Bay. The city of Martinez has as much rich history as any city in the Bay Area, not named San Francisco or Oakland. Part of that history is baseball, the home of all three DiMaggio brothers, Joe, Dom, and Vince who all at one time played for the San Francisco Seals. Sturge on me, Sturge on three, one, two, three. Sturge. These days, in a complex that bears Joe DiMaggio's name, Martinez has a pro baseball team you might not be acquainted with, the Martinez Sturgeon. This is year one for the Sturgeon, a member of the 14-team Pecos League, an independent pro league that has six California teams, including the San Rafael Pacifics, and eight teams spread around Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, and Kansas. But with the Pecos League, I did hear about the Pecos League, but I didn't have, I didn't know how to come and try out for the team. I just happened to Google independent professional tryouts one night. Had you ever heard of Martinez, California, or the fact that there was a team called the Martinez Sturgeon prior to that? No, actually, no, I had not. Kalen Robinson and Bryce Packard are from different parts of the country, but chasing the same dream. Robinson is local. Oakland Tech High School and College of San Mateo. Packard is from Houston. Sturgeon players have taken varied routes to get here, but after a COVID year in which there was no minor league baseball, the players know their career window to play is now. Leaving it all out there, competing, having fun, not playing with any fear or like um, regret. It took a lot to get here but it's going to take a lot to even stay here. You know, I'm blessed and couldn't be any happier to be in the position I am and, you know, look forward to the future in terms of being at the next level. The odds of these guys getting to the next level aren't good. Just a handful of Pecos League players have ever made it to the major leagues, but more than 400 have played at a higher level of minor league ball. The Sturgeon manager knows about the journey. Ron Whitmire was on both of Stanford's national championship teams in the 80s and had a true cup of coffee with the A's in 1991, a 19 at bat career. The, the thing that I love about it is there's no ego and it's really a bunch of grinders that are doing whatever they can to try to come out here and whether it's keep a career alive or just be part of a, of a winning team, it's made, made it a great experience. One thing's for sure, no one's getting rich here. Host families take in the out of town players. They hold a 50-50 raffle where the winners split the pot with the players. Dollar ticket, half goes to the winner. The Martinez Sturgeon might not be well known, but the small town hospitality is universal. I'm overwhelmed by it, to be honest. You know, I've noticed that a lot of other teams don't have as much support. I love playing for a good baseball town because you get a lot of fans that come out that's not you know, you don't know personally, but it's coming just for baseball. It's like the big leagues for me. Mm -hmm. The big leagues for me, because the kids come up and ask for your autograph, sign bats, and, and all of that good stuff. The odds of any of these players reaching the ultimate dream, long. But in their first year of existence, the Sturgeon are in a solid position for a playoff spot after the regular season ends early next month. That means a guarantee of more games, and that's what keeps these guys coming back. Just as long as I was able to feel my cleats touch the dirt, smell the grass, you know, yeah, that was that was enough for me. Just considering everything, I just want to push it as far as I can and and play, you know, as as good as I can for as long as I can. In Martinez, Joe Fonzi, KTVU, Fox Two.